world's first deep water webcam was installed in Monterey Bay. Wired went out with a team of marine biologists as a robotic submarine called the Ventana dropped the Eye in the Sea webcam into the water. The remote monitoring system will take video and various scientific readings 24 hours a day, sending them via the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute's new undersea data network, the Monterey Accelerated Research System, also known as MARS. The researchers don't know exactly what they're going to find, but they're homing to spot never before seen underwater creatures that just happen to float by. Usually, in order to photograph sea creatures, humans take manned or robotic submarines into the depths, pouring bright light into the ocean. The new camera, however, uses specially tuned red light, which most of the organisms at that depth can't see. They just see dark, but we can see them. When we arrived at the dock in Moss Landing, south of San Francisco, it was still dark, but the bay was waking up. The expedition left on the Point Lobos research vessel, which was famous for making everyone ill, at 7 a.m. just as the sun rose. The crew put the Ventana, the robotic submarine, through its paces on the deck. The trickiest part was ballasting the sub properly to carry the weight of the eye of the sea. They wanted a slow, steady descent. The sub is lowered into and out of the water with a crane. It's a delicate operation as the ocean bobs up and down and they try not to bang the submarine against the side of the boat. When the submarine went into the water, a group of curious dolphins investigated it, swimming around the sub and peering into its cameras. After the submarine was in the water, the scientists connected the eye in the sea camera to it and launched it overboard as well. The control room on the Point Lobos is full of monitors displaying the live video feed from the sub's camera. As they lowered into the deep, they pointed the camera straight down so they could keep an eye on the camera that was slowly dropping to the bottom. The submarine is controlled by a series of complex joysticks that are a lot more difficult to understand than any PS3 controller. Once they'd lowered the eye in the sea webcam to the bottom of the ocean, they had to attach the data cable to the network that they'd installed previously. After carefully untying the thin rope that held the data cable in place, the team used the submarine's robotic arm to pull the data cable a few dozen meters to the network hub. The installation of the world's first deep water webcam was a rousing success. Edie Witter, one of the scientists, called it an extremely rare experience, noting that Murphy of Murphy's Law obviously took the day off.